Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to Catholic Morning Prayer for July 21st, 2020. It is the memorial of St. Lawrence of Brindisi. The pages for this morning from the breviary are Morning Prayer, Tuesday of Week 4, and the memorial of St. Lawrence of Brindisi. The pages for this morning are as if you have a single volume breviary. Prayer begins on page 947, and the closing prayer for the proper is on page 1195. If you have the four-volume set, prayer begins on page 1168, and the closing prayer for St. Lawrence of Brindisi is on page 1542. Once again, single-volume breviary, prayer begins on page 947, and the closing prayer is on page 1195. If you have the four-volume set, prayer begins on page 1168, and the closing prayer for St. Lawrence is on page 1542. As always, we begin the divine office with the Angelus. So with all that being said, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and his cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. And we begin morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, Let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the mighty God. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending a knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, When at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord our mighty God. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord our mighty God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. 
I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham your beloved, Isaac your servant, and Israel your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven, or the sands on the shores of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit let us be received, as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks, and thousands or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly, for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with your whole heart, with our whole heart. We fear you, and we pray to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, I will sing to you a new song. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. All you who are thirsty, come to the water. All you who have no money, come receive grain and wheat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. 
Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well, you shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A few moments with these words of the prophet Isaiah. Lord, listen to my cry. All of my trust is in your promise. Lord, listen to my cry. All of my trust is in your promise. Dawn finds me watching, crying out for you. All of my trust is in your promise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, listen to my cry. All of my trust is in your promise. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. To the God who gives us the joy of praising him this morning, and who strengthens our hope, let us pray. Hear us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. We thank you, God and Father of Jesus, our Savior, for the knowledge and immortality you have given us through him. Make us humble of heart. Help us to serve one another out of reverence for Christ. Pour out your Spirit on us, your servants. Make us sincere in our love for each other. You instructed man to labor and to exercise dominion over the earth. May our work honor you and sanctify our brothers and sisters. And remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls, you gave Lawrence of Brindisi courage and right judgment. By his prayers, help us to know what we should do and give us the courage to do it. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout this world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you all for being here this morning. Please remember to pray for all those 
who have loved ones who were martyred on Easter Sunday in Sri Lanka, as well as all those who live in China, are Catholic brothers and sisters who suffer each and every day at the hands of their communist oppressors. This evening we will have Vespers at 6 p.m. I hope to see you all there. Good morning, Pedro. Nicola, good morning to you. Lillian, or is it Christine? I forget. Uh, Michael, it's good to see you as well. Katie, good morning to you. Angel, good morning, brother. And uh, you know I'm playing right to three brothers and the pops who was a box who makes one. Nicola, what the heck? Uh, of course. Listen, I had four brothers and a uh, sister, and I had a father who was a king of all who would bust chops. I mean, he was... So, of course, I know that. I would never in a million years think any of you, for that matter, would do anything or say anything or mean any kind of ill or, or towards me, ever. So, no, of course not. So, yeah, God bless all of you. And I will see you tonight, God willing, at 6 p.m. for Vespers. Just do me a favor and tell Nicola it was at actually at 8 o'clock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the door before Nicola gets here. <laughs> so God bless all of you. Take care. <laughs> and I will see you all this evening, hopefully, God willing. I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Christine, okay, Christine. Bus chops, there you go. <laughs> Take care. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Whew. <laughs>